Good evening and welcome to This Week in Joe's Basement. I'm Joe and this is my basement. Well, uh, our last take was <laughs> really interesting, but you don't get to see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way it goes in broadcast journalism, television, television. Anyway, so uh, This Week in Joe's Basement, we're rising to new standards of professionalism. And uh, our first step in doing that was to introduce viewer mail last week so we can now get direct response from you people out there in television land. And uh, the second thing we've done is this week we've secured ourselves a regular time slot, a regular reliable time slot to make up for the fact that we're not in the... Hold on, hold on, I'm almost done. To make up for the fact that we're not normally in the TV guide, I can't imagine why we're not in the TV guide, but, you know, public access cable and all that sort of rot, you know how it is. Anyway, so when we say that this is going to be boring and don't watch it, we don't mean that. We mean, I mean, in general, we want people to watch the show. It's really important to us to attract as many viewers as possible and try to get the best ratings and all that sort of thing. When we mean don't watch it, we mean you, personally, should not watch this show. Okay? Got that clear. So, this week's show we're doing Enhanced Reality. We've, like, done all sorts of stuff, and we decided to call it Enhanced Reality. Anyway, we're out of time, so here it is. Ready? Go. Excuse me? I said, slime bucket. Fuck you. Oh, you know what's really cool? When I was playing, um, Cyclone earlier, I got the ball stuck. Get what's Cyclone? Oh, that's the uh, no, football no, game? No, 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 it was just stuck up there. Doing nothing. So, <laughs> and I stopped, smoked a cigarette, came back in, and did a good whack. Filtered. <laughs> <laughs> I filtered. Yeah. It's, it's best when you get the ball stuck in, you know, bumper or something. It's just right. Well, you won't say steel though, but the bumper is by the well, it's not something you should use it. Hold on the fall down. Please. Yeah, in general, I will. Okay, wait. Sorry about that, I'll try to do better in the future. Well, if you don't, we'll find you. Mm -hmm. And we'll kill you. Well, that's the main thing, not being found. How much some food? A documentary in six parts. We can only find three now. So we're going to show you those. <clears throat> are, you, are you filming at this point? Oh, I've been filming for some time. Oh, uh, sick and disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> Daniel Margulies, do you think what I'm doing is sick and disgusting? I don't know. I can't see what you're doing. I'm way too busy playing this game. Fair enough. Why aren't you playing Ancient Out of War? Well, if that isn't a mandate, I don't know what is. The question is, do you think what I'm doing is sick and disgusting? 12 seconds, wave 22. No, I sympathize far too much to think that what you're doing is so sick and disgusting. 12 seconds out of 1 minute well, 55. All right. I think most things are. So I have like six extra men now. Do you think sex is dirty? Well, only if you're doing it right. And it's best. Only if you do it right, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm discovering why home video is such shit. Because <laughs> uh, it's so much fun to do that you just diddle around like I am right now. Ah, oh, thank you very much. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I got to be heading on. Stan's like, whoa, 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 why won't you stay? Don't you enjoy our hospitality? The big guy says, yeah, I'd love to stay, but haven't you heard? Big John's coming to town. <laughs> Excuse me. The audience, the audience reaction. <laughs> the audience suddenly becomes <laughs> self-conscious. I have a joke, which you've all heard. It's so, a Lee so, Weiner joke. So what do you say? Do I deserve what? an HBO comedy special or what? Come on, But man. it's a Mr. Osada joke. It's not, it's not original. I think half the shit they do on HBO is original. Well. It's only original if you haven't heard it before. Come That's on. True. Mm -hmm. Man, you have to start writing your own material. You have to play the, play for the audience. I can't like, write my own material. Time to do a Mr. Osada joke, make it, you know, about Mr. Osada. It's not that hard. And here's the best part. The about your friends, you know? Yeah. So I have this friend named Big John, and he's about, uh, you know... About six foot forty. Yeah. He says, my God, that's Moose Turd Pie. It's a good one, though. Now, Paul, tell your joke. Tell your Liz Weiner joke. It's a Lee Weiner joke. Lee Weiner? Lee Weiner. 
Not Liz Weiner? Lee Weiner was a uh, fat loser. He's and gentleman. the one who's talking. You universe. should be looking at him. Yeah, Fair but enough. you know, we're getting audience reaction shots now. I mean, that's what we're... See, right, we'll, as a general we'll cut thumb, in. As a general rule of thumb, audience reaction shots should be no longer than one-tenth of the length of the entire, uh, the entire segment. Well, yeah, but what we'll do is we'll cut in those uh, we audience no reaction shots. Whatsoever, sure we do. This is video. You know, you just used two... <laughs> <laughs> smile, smile. And do his beard. <laughs> because you see, life is sometimes oh, like God. that, you know. All right. So this is a Lee Weiner joke. See, Meaning it was told right, by Lee Weiner. Not the other way around. Okay, which means that Jingus, for instance, should throw Lee Weiner into a lake and not me. Who's but Lee Jingus Weiner? has probably heard it already. Lee Weiner is a person I know at Boston University, a uh, tremendously fat person. Oh, the, the Neil. The, the other Neil, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Except, no, the no, other because... Darryl. The other Daryl. This exactly. guy... Uh, no, no, one no, of them everywhere! No, 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 no. Daryl. Daryl McLaurin. No, 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 no. This guy didn't... Okay. This guy didn't lie or anything. He's just... Right. Ooh, let's go drink beer! <laughs> okay. Um, very strange little gentleman. Anyway, um... What was this thing? Oh, yes. String walks into a bar. Everyone remembers this? A what walks into a bar? String walks into a bar. Oh, yeah, I know this one. Mm -hmm. String walks into String a bar. String walks into the bar. Walks up so, to the bar. He sits yeah, down at the bar. Have you seen and hear about the Kennedy assassination? Maybe. I've heard, I've heard all sorts of things about it. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you think that's where you get the idea that the CIA was yeah, dealing with that's Oswald? That's what I mentioned. Too. Look it up. Okay, right. so the String walks into a bar. String walks into a bar. And the bar says, sorry, but we don't serve strings here. Right. Uh, well, actually, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but um, you guys okay, can tell this hey, You're gonna let me tell it. Are you gonna let me tell it? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, bartender says, "Sorry, we don't serve strings here." <laughs> <laughs> I was getting to that. He said. <laughs> and um, so, the uh, the string goes in typical Lee Weiner fashion. He goes, <laughs> and um, so the string walks away. Only he doesn't walk out of the bar. He walks into the men's room. He looks at the mirror and thinks for a second. He takes a big comb out of his stringy little pocket. And he, he musses the top of the string of himself, that is to say. Mm -hmm. He musses the top, he frays it. Is he a string or is he twine or is he rope? Well, he's twine, really. Well, yes, he's, he's twine. twine. He's sort of yeah. hemp, in fact. He's hemp. He's made of oh, hemp. Okay. He's, you know, so in the end of the day, like I suspect he can get smoked. Then I'm done. Continue. Right. Where was I? He, oh, he's, he, he's just he's scuffed, his top. scuffed he, up his top. He scuffs up his top. And then he, and he, he, he curls himself up. around. And he ties himself and up. And then he pulls himself through himself, and there he is. And he's sort of uncomfortable. But he thinks it'll work. <laughs> and so he steps out, and he walks up to the bar, and he sits down again, and he says, I would like some whiskey, please. And the bartender says, no, wait a minute. Yeah. Onto the string I just told that we don't serve. Huh? And the string says, "Frayed not." Joke. He says, <laughs> "No." But I'm a bum. He says, "No." no I'm afraid. I'm not. afraid not. not Thank you. We'll edit that out. <laughs> okay. Hey, edit to your heart's content. Okay, just edit me right out of existence. Okay, because life is a movie. Okay, and without one character, it's a different movie. Oops. Very good. <laughs> swallows it all, puts it down, and lets out a belch that would make Booker jealous, and turns back and wipes his beard off with his sleeve and says, No, oh, thank you very much. That's what I was looking for. Now oh, I got to be heading on. And Stan's like, whoa, 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 you... uh, oh, Why won't you stay? Don't you like our hospitality? And the big guy goes, Why, I surely does. But haven't you heard? Big John's coming to town. <laughs> Excuse me. The audience, the audience reaction. <laughs> the audience suddenly becomes self-conscious. Oh, 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 I've got one. Uh, you've all heard this one before. It's, it's a Lee Weiner joke. So what do you say? Do I deserve my own HBO comedy special or what? Uh, but it's a Mr. Osada joke. It's not, it's not original. You think half the shit they do on HBO is original? Well, it's only original if you haven't heard it before. Come on. That's true. Dan, you got to start writing your own material. You know, play for the camera. I suck at writing my own material. I can't write my own material. If you're going to tell a Mr. Osada joke, 
make it, you know, about Mr. Osada. It's not that hard. And here's the best part. The story's about your friends, you know? Yeah. That's not that hard. And here's the best part. <laughs> you write stories about your friends, you know. Yeah, I had this friend named Big John Osada, and he was about six foot forty. And he goes, My God, that's moose turd pie. It's a good one, though. But Paul, tell your joke. Tell your Liz uh, Weiner joke. It's a Lee Weiner joke. Lee Weiner? Lee Weiner. Lee Weiner. Not Liz Weiner? Lee Weiner was a... Uh, Fat, loathsome little gentleman that I know is talking. You should be University. looking at him. Uh, yeah, but we're getting audience reaction shots now. Audience mm -hmm. reaction shots should be no longer than one-tenth the length of the entire segment. Yes, but you see, what we'll do is we'll cut in those, uh, We have no editing facilities stuff. whatsoever, Paul. Sure we do. This is video. What we'll do is we'll use... <laughs> to... <laughs> mm? <laughs> Smile. Smile. And do his beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> because you see, life is sometimes like that, you know? I'm gonna get you. This time, I'm really gonna get you. All right. This is a Lee Weiner joke. Meaning, it was told to me by Lee Weiner. Meaning that Genghis, for example, should throw Lee Weiner into the lake and not me. Who is Lee Weiner? Of Genghis has probably already heard this joke before. Lee Weiner is a person I know at Boston University. A uh, tremendously fat person. Oh, the Neil. The other Neil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daryl. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's no. one of them everywhere. Daryl. Daryl McLaurin. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this guy didn't lie or anything. He was just kind of like, Ooh, let's go drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very strange little gentleman. Um, anyway. Oh, that's right. Uh, String walks into a bar. Everyone remember this? A what walks into the bar? String walks into a bar. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. A string walks into a bar? A string walks into a bar. Walks up to the bar. Sits down at the bar. Joe, Joe, did you read this thing in here about the Kennedy assassination? Maybe. Uh, I mean, I've heard all sorts of things about it. Is that where, is that where you got the idea that the CIA was dealing with Oswald? Yeah, right, right. It mentions this in here. Look it up. So, a string walks into the bar. String walks into a bar, and the bartender says, I'm sorry, but we don't serve strings here. Right? Actually, I haven't gotten to that point yet. But, um, you guys okay, can tell this hey, you can let me tell it? Are you going to let me tell it? Yeah, yeah. All right, so, bartender says, sorry, we don't serve strings here. <laughs> he to that, he says. And the string goes, in typical Lee Weiner fashion, goes, <laughs> and he walks away. But he doesn't leave the bar. He goes into the men's room. And he looks in the mirror for a second. And he thinks. And he pulls a great big comb out of his skinny <laughs> little pocket. And he takes a comb and he musses up the top of the string of himself. Uh -huh. He musses it all up. He frays it. Is he a string or is he twine or is he rope? Well, he's twine, really. Well, Yes, he's I mean, twine. He's sort of hemp, in fact, he's hemp. It's very thick. Oh, oh, sort of oh, 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 oh. And in the end, I expect he's going to get smoked. Da dum dum. Ching. Continue. Pray. He's, he, he, he's, 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 he's must himself. Oh, he's oh, must himself. himself and he's curled he himself, himself around. He's curled himself around. And he's curled himself around. <coughs> and there he is. And he's kind of uncomfortable, but he thinks it'll do. So, he walks back out of the, out of the bathroom. And he walks up to the bar. And he says to the bartender, I, I go whiskey, please. Mm -hmm. Whiskey, strings talk. And the bartender says, wait a minute, aren't you the string that I just told that we don't serve in And the bar? string goes, afraid not! Yeah. <laughs> no. Read this. The string goes, no, no I'm, I'm afraid, afraid not. not. Whatever. Thank you. We'll just edit that part out, okay? Hey, hey, hey! Edit to your heart's content, okay? Just edit me out of existence, okay? Because life 
is a movie. And without one character, it's a different movie. Life is a movie. Life is a movie. Life is a movie. My good friend Dan Margulies once told me that uh, that life is a movie, and without one character, it'd just be a different movie. It's sort of like uh, sort of like Shakespeare once said, you know, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players, and each man in his time plays many parts. You know, their entrances and their exits as they play their many parts or, you know, something like that. It's just melodramatic bullshit. I mean, look, we know the world is really just a big, enclosed, dark room with just locked on the outside and they've thrown away the key. Well, you know, I, at this juncture in the show, I'd say we've really done all we can to enhance reality. So uh, I think what I'd like to look at now with you is normal mundane reality without any enhancement. Um, see, I mean, everyday life just sort of goes on like this. And I'd like you to follow me through my routine and uh, see what sort of insights this brings you. Pretty dull, isn't it? In fact, doesn't uh, that doesn't really make very good television, does it? Oh well. He's only been dead for a few minutes at most. Oh, then the killer must still be here, in this house. Yes. Now, from my list of suspects, I will determine who killed Joe Winston. What was your relationship with the deceased? I am in charge of planning for Chicago Cable Access. Mm -hmm. Joe was behind deadline for this week's show. What show was that? Oh, I don't know. Something about a basement. Mm, very good. And how about you? Uh, my name is Jane Henderson, and I was a close friend of his. I can't believe someone would want to murder him. Mm. <laughs> if only I could find the one missing piece. Then the whole puzzle would fall into place. <laughs> Together again. I must now interrogate both of you. Hey, has anybody got some smokes? Who are you? James. Did you bought me a cigarette? Did you know the deceased? Yes. He was occasionally on the show, mm. though he never had very many lines. I'm Detective Resnick. I'm afraid it is my unpleasant duty to inform you that your dear friend has been brutally murdered tonight. Now, I must ask that no one leave this room. Bummer. Well, at least now I won't have to pay back the ten bucks I owe him. I'm shocked by your casual indifference, young man. This is just the sort of nihilism which characterizes... Oh, fuck you. Who died and made you king anyway, huh? No, Chicago Public Access seeks to promote freedom of speech. The use of profanity first must be approved by the, the Cable Planning Committee. 
and also approved by a release form signed in triplicate. Hey, uh, you want to bum me some smokes? No! Go away! Aha! <laughs> I have found some clues. Does that mean? Could it be? Yes! All of you, come with me. Now, madam, you are known to have been romantically involved with the deceased? Uh, yes. Now, it just so happens that I found traces of lipstick smeared on the body, and you were the first person discovered at the scene of the crime. Now, wait, just a I don't see how that evidence adds up oh, at really? all. Then how do you explain this lock of your hair, miss? But, officer, I didn't do it, I swear. I mean, I could never do such a thing. I love Joe. I even laughed at some of his jokes. What reason could I possibly have to kill him? I happen to know that your relationship was not so rosy as it seemed. Is it not true that you were tired of playing shallow, bimbo roles? Uh, and did you not also feel that he did not pay enough attention to you? Well, yeah. yeah. I feel that I have all the evidence I need to close this case. But, but, but... I must warn you, madam. Your feminine charms will do you no good now. But I just remember him. I was on the dock for the past six hours. I <laughs> yes, but there was lipstick on the body. <laughs> All right. Now, as program planner, how about your relationship with the deceased? Stop calling the deceased, huh? I understand that you and Joe quarreled recently over the fact that his program is entitled this month, or this week, this week, is that correct? This week in Joe's basement, even though it only comes on once a month. And finally, eyewitnesses spotted you holding the deceased by the throat and <coughs> choking him. Well, uh, that. And furthermore, the fingerprints on the wine glass match yours exactly. Where'd you get that? Wine glass? Well, a bunch of nut cases. I'm gonna get a cigarette. Genius. I don't much like or trust you, but I think we should talk in private. Well, okay. Ah, good. Now we can talk alone. But, officer, I, I don't see what you're getting at. I mean, don't you suspect the program planner? <laughs> Follow me into the kitchen, and I'll show you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
careful examination of Jane's body. Don't come too close. I discovered nicotine stains. <laughs> not visible to the casual observer, but which did not escape my trained eye. When do you do this? That means Genghis killed her. And Joe. Precisely. <laughs> it all fits together. It I, I don't get it. <laughs> It was well known that you and Joe had your differences. Did you not quarrel recently with him about your benefits for appearing on his weekly television show? And did you not also harbor some Monthly, not weekly. <laughs> exactly. Look, I just came in here to bum a cigarette. Now leave me alone. A cigarette. Oh, one link remains missing. If I could find out if your fingerprints, Mr. Program Planner, match those on the deceased throat, then I could establish who was the killer. Come with me. But, but, but. I must warn you, if you fail to cooperate with my investigation, I must bring to bear the full penalty of the law against you. But, 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 but without the proper forms, you can't. I have all the proper forms. In order, come with me. Yeah, you guys go do that. I'm gonna go get some cigarettes. That's all for this week in Joe's Basement. Um, that's pretty much what life is like. So uh, be sure to tune in next week uh, at our regular time slot when we uh, do something else. And uh, oh, uh, in the meantime, don't watch too much TV. It's, it's bad for you. It, it really ruins your, your link to reality. And here's the best part. It's about your friends. I it's frightening, actually. Yeah. Yeah. My God, that's Booster and Pie. It's a good one, though. But Paul, play a joke. Play your Liz Weiner joke. Lee Weiner joke. Lee Weiner? Lee Weiner. Not Liz Weiner? Lee Weiner was uh, a fat loser. He's the one who's talking. You should be looking at him. Yeah, but, you know, we're getting audience reaction shots now. I mean, that's a word. See, right. as, a general we'll rule, in. as a general rule of thumb, audience reaction shots should be no longer than one-tenth of the length of the entire, uh, the entire segment. Yeah, but what we'll do is we'll cut in those uh, audience know, reaction shots. Whatever. What's the matter, Dan? Can't you remember your own lines? Come on. Smile. Smile. <laughs> because you see, life is sometimes like that, you know. All right. This is a Lee Weiner joke. I knew Beginning you were talking about Lee Weiner. Which means that yep. Jingus Frank has just thrown Lee Weiner into a lake and not me. Who's but Lee Weiner? has probably heard it already. Right. <laughs> Lee Weiner is a person I know at Boston University. Uh, tremendous <laughs> impact. Oh, oh, the Neil. The other Neil, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Except, no, no, because... The other Daryl. This guy, uh, no, 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 no,